Well, good morning, everybody. <laughs> How are you? And I hope everything is good. Uh, I just recorded this entire reading, or at least most of it, and there was no audio on there. So this is really important, though. So I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do this right now because I don't want this just to be like, oh, I'm not, I guess, whatever. Um, I feel like sometimes things happen like that because maybe something I said or something that I need to say, I need to reconsider, all right? I need to be looking at this in a bigger perspective. And I feel like, um, let me just take you through what this reading is. And I'm going to expand on what I have already said, even though you don't know what I've already said, but I'm going to uh, give you the gist of that, but then I'll expand on it, okay? So right now, narrow pathway and mystic healer protected by angels. This is a call to action, okay? This is, you might, you or this other person that you're dealing with might go through a massive spiritual awakening, okay? Whichever one of you is more in, entrenched in the 3D world, okay? As we're going through Uranus um, on Friday, August 15th, as we're going through that experience of pushing you out of your comfort zone, whoever is really more in their comfort zone and kind of digging in their heels because Uranus goes retrograde in Taurus on Friday. Whoever's doing that is going to have a tower moment, okay? This is a spiritual couple. This can be a twin flame connection. This can be a plutonic relationship. I did that um, uh, class last night. We're gonna bundle it together with uh, a class I did called uh, Navigating Your Spiritual Ascension because this is, this is what it is. So if you have been going down a road and you're focused on um, your spiritual awakening and everything like that, this other person now um, that is destined to be in, not only in spiritual connection with you. So this could be, because karmics are twin flames, okay? Plutonic relationships are about power, but they're also about purging and getting really deep. It's scorpionic energy, Pluto energy transformative energy so this connection this particular connection is about the spiritual ascension of the couple okay i'm also seeing um lovers i'm seeing life partner okay so all of these things that's what we talked about in the class last night in the scorpionic plutonic energy of how do you know all right how do you know when someone is a transformative karmic, right? A transformative karmic and a twin flame. Those two things overlap, right? There's a Venn diagram where they overlap and life partner. Someone you will work through this because plutonic relationships, you work through them. When you first meet, it is not love. You're feeling this intensity and the sex is intense and all of these things. But it's not about love. It's about working through all of this stuff. So um, what this is, is one of you who is more entrenched, okay, has manifested this, the three of wands. This is, the ship is coming in and they will, they're not going to see this coming. This could be you, but I feel like this is the other person. All right, going from Gandalf the gray to Gandalf the white. So they're really, um, they are spiritual. They are, they are using some of their spiritual gifts very unconsciously. Okay. This could be you. It feels like it's the other person. They have really, um, tried to dig in their heels and stay in the 3d more than what is, what is supposed to be. Okay. What is supposed to be now you are asking to a, to a wands, What's underneath is the strength card. So this is about, um, this is like a birthing, okay? This person is giving birth to their spiritual self. And this is also then giving birth to a couple. So when you're navigating this, it very much is a, you know, as any mother will tell you, any woman who's given birth, it's such a, it is a fundamentally, viscerally transformative experience. So when you go through that into the new light, into the day, right? The baby literally comes out and 
bursts out into the day. Okay. So one of you is um, doing this kind of light healing now and kind of vamping and waiting for this person to show up. If this is reversed, if you are the one that is really going through it, right, these, these massive changes, these uh, ascension symptoms, all of these things, the other person is like, yeah, I don't really want, you know, the big tour. I don't need the big, you know, full on experience of transformation or, or anything. I don't really need that. Uh, gonna get it anyway okay that's why the tower happens so one of you is waiting for the other one okay and this is going to bring you together so this is a very physical experience right union is physical the tower it can be the moment of union the physicality of it and I feel like there is this all this energy this could be other people but this does feel like resistance and blocking, right? Because plutonic relationships, this has an element of plutonic relationship for me here, okay? And um, I went through all of how you can tell it's plutonic. So if you missed the class last night, uh, we're going to share that. We're going to share it again. But uh, drop a comment because we're going to put it out for um, anybody who wants it as a recording, okay? All right. So this is like resistance, because of past baggage, needing to balance past baggage. So that is what's really going on here with this plutonic death experience and then out into the light, right? So this could be an experience where you've already been through some karmic cycles with this person. You are moving into becoming a mystic healer and they are also doing that. This is like the tough mutter of, of spiritual passages okay <laughs> the tough mutter of that right it's like it's not just an obstacle course it's not just a marathon or a half marathon or anything like that this is like they throw in all kinds of crazy twists and turns and more and level of difficulty and like what right so this is the tough mutter of <laughs> the tough mutter of spiritual transformation <laughs> i gotta write that down and it does, um, the person who is the more physically, or what I mean by, what I mean by that is the more um, financially oriented, the one who is the eight of pentacles. I feel like you're the nine of pentacles. I feel like this other person is going to clearly see through this transformative experience that this can be, there's king of swords, six of cups, and ten of cups that this can be a life partnership. This is not sim, this is not a, this reading is for whoever is busting through from this purely 5D experience into a more 3D experience with the higher consciousness level as a sort of a bubble, I'm gonna say, like in Twin Flame, that bubble love experience. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? So things in the past need to get balanced Right? I feel like one of you is doing a better job of that than the other one. Okay, that's why they're having the tower moment here. So the energies here that I'm seeing, now this, this reading is not tied to any zodiac signs, but I love, astrology is about seeing your path to God, right? That's what spiritual ascension is. It's about, you, it's, it's about your spiritual pathway getting closer to God. And that's what this is. This connection is going to bring, you know, it's one plus one equals five. So you are whole through the spiritual ascension process. They are a whole person. They've integrated their masculine and feminine. And now you can birth, go through the birth canal together, a set of twins, okay? Twins, that's what twins are, right? Not going through it together, but, <laughs> but going through it at the same time. All right, so you're going to feel that moving from Gandalf the Gray to Gandalf the White, if that's you. You're going to feel that other person moving out of their 3D, really digging in their heels about 3D, wanting to stay in 3D, and moving up into something that's much more spiritual. So if you're part of 
this, if you've been through this process, then you know that you can go through cycles and cycles and cycles. But this person has broken through, all right? And now they're, they're lo sort of like looking at this experience. The person who's gonna go through the tower moment is kind of looking at spiritual ascension as like, well, I'll just, you know, I'll just do the light thing. Like on the weekends, I'll just read my books and I'll watch my tarot reading. I'll watch Mary Jo and, and whatever. It's, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like light, but not seeing, boom, not seeing that it's not really a, a, a side gig. All right. This is not a side chick. No offense, but this is not. This is about creating the union. Okay, so this is the tough mutter of spiritual ascension. I have a feeling because we're in uh, this uh, Uranus in retrograde Taurus, and we've had some Mars aspects recently too, um, that this is what needs to happen in order to, it's sort of like tearing away the visage, the illusion for this person for enough time to get them into the next level. Okay, so that this can come together and move forward together. Um, I'm seeing the energies of Virgo and Leo and Gemini and Libra and Scorpio and Aquarius. Okay, so if you're any of those signs or if the person you're dealing with, I talk a lot about plutonic relationships. Plutonic relationships are the forcing the shadow out into the light. That's what this is. So you can be a twin flame and a plutonic relationship and a life partner. If you, that's what I was talking about in the class last night. If you have some astrological placements, all of those three things can happen. Okay? So if you're new to the channel, welcome. You came on a nice day. <laughs> you came on a big day, banner day. All right? So if you're new and you like the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're part of Patreon and you get all of the extended reads for the morning messages, please go over there. Otherwise, if you're brand new to the channel and want to sample, you can check out the link. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Um, and the link is below in the description box. You can follow me over there. Okay, my darlings, I'll see you.